Chào bạn, đây là Quincy Cùng tôi học tiếng Mỹ với VOA trong chương trình Learning English Chủ đề bài hôm nay là First Lady in Africa Reaching Change for Women Mời bạn nghe <coughs> Last month, the Washington Post published an opinion piece about reports that the United States government had separated 2,000 children from their parents. The writer was Laura Bush, wife of former U.S. President George W. Bush. They live in Texas, close to the U.S. border with Mexico. I live in a border state, she wrote. I appreciate the need to enforce and protect our international boundaries. But this zero-tolerance policy is cruel. It breaks my heart. In her letter, Laura Bush called for an immediate end to the separation of children and parents. Three days after the Post published her letter, President Donald Trump signed an executive order to prevent future separations. Bush was not alone in condemning the separation of children from their parents. But her voice as a former first lady was influential. Around the world, many current and former first ladies are able to influence events. These women often do not have legal power, but they lead by example. They can build support for social issues and even shape local and foreign policies. Cora Newman is the creator of the Global First Ladies Alliance, a U.S.-based group that supports and connects First Ladies around the world. First Ladies have unused potential, Newman said. Their influence is often hidden from sight, but their power is real. They're in this position of power, potentially, and influence, Newman told VOA. But they're just disregarded, and there was a real double standard there that caught me that I think it applies to women specifically. African first ladies often are involved with social problems involving education, women's health, economic empowerment, and efforts against HIV AIDS. Monica Gingos, a lawyer, has been the first lady of Namibia since 2015. She has been working to help women escape poverty through loans and training to become business leaders. Kenyan First Lady Margaret Kenyatta has led a movement to set up health centers in many parts of her country. Sia Nyama Koroma served as the First Lady of Sierra Leone from 2007 until just last month. A trained chemist and mental health specialist, she established the country's office of the First Lady. Koroma created her office to support efforts aimed at improving education, training, and women's empowerment. Her efforts have been effective in dealing with the problem of mothers dying during childbirth, Newman said. She praised Koroma for working with local populations and traditional religious leaders. First ladies often enact change not because of a legal order, but by using their position to influence action. This is something Newman called leading without authority. What we've seen in some of the countries in Africa, and you see here in the U.S. in ways as well, is that the first ladies are considered and sometimes called the mother of their country, Newman said. 
She added that the ability to shape behaviors at a local level by meeting with villagers can sometimes be more powerful than authority. Newman gave an example of Salma Kikwete, a former first lady of Tanzania. She and her husband went on live national TV to get tested for HIV, the virus responsible for the disease AIDS. Empowering first ladies and those who work with them raises the standing of all women, Newman said. The Global First Ladies Alliance has worked with 45 current and former first ladies. Along with Africa, the group has organized meetings with women from U.S., Britain, Latin America, and Asia. At these events, the former first ladies can share experiences and learn from one another. The alliance documents the exchanges and develops case studies. That has led to programs such as a fellowship program for top aides to first ladies. You're only as good as your best advisor, Newman said, and that pushed her team to develop training for operating an effective office. Over time, first ladies have gained respect and formed powerful contacts. We're just seeing first ladies continue to take on more and more of a visible and powerful role, Newman said. In the future, Newman sees first ladies gaining even more influence. The more powerful they become, and the more visible they become, like we just saw in the United States, this speaking out and applying direct pressure is going to continue to become more important, she said. I'm Phil Deerking. Words in this story. Authority. Now. The power to give orders or make decisions. Disregard work to ignore something or treat something as unimportant. Double standard now. A situation in which two people group acclamation are treated very differently from each other in a way that is unfair to one of them. First lady, now, the why of the United States president, potential, now, a chance or possibility that something will happen or exist in the future. Role, now, the character played by an actor. Tolerance, now, Willingness to accept feelings, habits, or beliefs that are different from your own. Visible, it's just able to be seen. Quincy, chào bạn. Hẹn gặp lại.